All right, just after 7.30 in the morning, getting started out of Barbie's Dream House Hostel. And I just finished stage one of the climb, it was straight up. Here's stage two. Straight up again. Well, it rained this morning, which didn't help the humidity any, but uh, Barbie dropped myself and Toodles and Intrepid off uh, right where the detour goes back into the woods. And it is close. There is no wind, even though we're kind of up on top of things here. And, uh, but now we've reached a little bit of flat space. Hopefully we'll get as much as we can today to make the miles with a late start. Just met a uh, southbound hiker who let me know that the ledges are coming up and they're steep and it's a little wet so be careful but after that there's like a four mile stretch of absolute flat he says that sounds good um, this morning hasn't been too bad but there's been a couple of steep climbs maybe we'll get some views So we came all the way from the top up there, down these steep, slick stones. And now we're trying to continue to negotiate them, but it's slow going. Gotta be careful. It rained and now they're just really I'm slow. I'm glad to finally be down off of that. There are a couple of hairy spots. From here on, it doesn't look too bad. So the Housatonic River is right through those trees. And it looks like we're gonna parallel the river for quite a while. And you can tell because it's a little buggier. This could mean so many different things. Beautiful little pipe spring down here and the water is so cold coming right out of the mountain above the river. Haven't had cold water in a long time. It's really good. There were some steep rocky climbs getting up here. Um, so hopefully we'll hit the ridge and not have to climb so much. It's tough to do in the heat. You just soak yourself and all your clothes really quick on any kind of climb. Well, let's see how pretty this is up here. So this is Guinea Brook. Wonderful little rock crossing there. Beautiful water. Uh, quite a steep climb out of that little creek valley, but it was very pretty. Lovely place to take a break. And now we're back up on top, and you can see it's pretty up here. A little flat for a while, too. Happy about that. I told you we'd been climbing. Woo!
stopped at the creek back there and uh, had a nice rest in a full liter of electrolyte water. And uh, now we're gonna be heading on to the campsite. It's about four o'clock. There's a camp in a mile and a half and there's a camp in three and a half. And the camp in one and a half only has room for two tents. It's my kind of team, my kind of camp. Uh, the other one is a shelter, might be very crowded. So I'm gonna see if I can get to the stream that has the two tent sites and uh, maybe hang out a line because my clothes are just sopping wet. And I'd love to rinse them in the, in the stream and uh, hang them on a line and see if I can get them wearable for tomorrow. Well, after some significant climbing, it's now a little flatter up here. Got just under half a mile to the little creek and campsite to check out. Okay, we've arrived at the little stream. Uh, there's one campsite here, but looks pretty rocky. Be a little work to make it good, but this one nice it's 5 30 and the serenity shuttle has landed at trail mile 1488.5 for a 15 mile day i've got the uh, wind jacket on because the mosquitoes are kind of thick down here by the creek but i did get everything rinsed out and hanging up so maybe uh maybe it'll uh, smell better and be less sweaty tomorrow <laughs> um yeah lots of climbing today nice little flat spot down by the Housatonic River, but other than that, it was really up and down and got a late start. So I feel good about 15 miles. Got this little campsite by the creek. There's one other tent site possible here, and that's it. So maybe one other person will pull in later. But getting here early allowed me to rinse the stuff in the creek. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cook some dinner and then uh, try to crawl into the tent and get away from the mosquitoes for a bit. Thanks for hiking with me, and remember, we're doing the impossible that makes us mighty.